in the news, da 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 da. In the news, da 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 da. In the news for June the 28th, 2013. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In the news, all right, folks. Good morning. Like I said, today is the 28th of June, 2013, Friday. And of course, this is our edition of In 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 the New no, no, no. And of course, today, as you know, the assault on the American heterosexual family continues with the passing of the law that was just passed by Congress, where they actually went against the DOMA Act. Would actually, the Congress said that the act for gays, for gay couples to marry in any state, is unconstitutional. But yet, the new attachment to that bill was that they were going to allow gays to have the same rights as heterosexual couples. And the new thing is that everybody that is heterosexual is evil. And the and people who are gay, who are practicing bestiality or homosexuality, is the new family or the new trend. You see it on the sitcoms. You see it on the news. You, you see it in other shows where the man is degraded as a weak, stupid character. You know, and you see it where the woman is dominating and over the male. And that's not what Jesus meant in Romans 13 about submission. Um, it's supposed to be equal. And, I, you know, I just want to make that clear. It's supposed to be equal between a man and woman. Where the man and woman work it out together and it's a heterosexual couple relationship. We go back to Genesis 1 and we go to the Garden of Eden, which is in the first chapter of the Bible. And it talks about where on the last day of creation where God created man last. Eve, Adam fell asleep and he woke up about a few hours later from sleeping and realized that there was a woman there laying there, a beautiful woman with no clothes on whatsoever. And he didn't have any clothes on anyway either. Remember, this is a post-sinful world. And what do I mean by that? Well, it means like, People could walk around absolutely with nothing on, and it didn't mean anything. There weren't no laws because there wasn't any sin introduced in the world yet. See, that's what I mean by that. But to to fast forward to today, it seems like the government. It seems like the government, its new role is to attack the heterosexual family any way they can, to destroy the family in this country, any way they can. And then what happens is, say, somebody comes in and reports and says, oh. Oh, somebody else is abusing their child. And they come and take them and give it to somebody who can't produce. And that would be a homosexual ca- a couple. Or it would be someone who is a heterosexual who just can't not produce. And some people can't. But And then when you try to get your children back because you were falsely accused and set up by the DHS. You were set up, not DHS, I'm sorry. But um, I meant to say social services. Remember, this is a live show, so you can get some bloops here. Uh, then you're the bad guy for trying to get your child back because it was false because they took your child under false pretenses anyway. So you know God is enraged with this country. That's why we're having floods everywhere. That's why we're having bad weather. It's not a carbon tax. It's because God is mad at this country and He's mad at the world. And that's why there's natural disasters going crazy right now this summer. We've had more disasters this year than we've had in any other year on record. That's been to date as recorded human events. And the reason is is because the morals have gone out the window. Like I said, God is coming back soon. As far as when, that could be 100 years, but I don't think it's quite that long out. But, you know, in the Revelation, it tells us that absence of minds and normal normal, uh, morals and a compass of moral righteousness and goodness would be all gone or deteriorate. And yet only a few people would be actually still practicing those morals. But yet the majority would be into all this heathenistic worship of other gods or goddesses or prostitution or bestiality. Men and women will flaunt their their bestiology of of their gayness in front of you to make it seem more acceptable or more preconditioned psychologically into a society. When yet that is not accepted by God and it should not be accepted by by heterosexual people or by or or by the church. And some churches even say it's okay to attend their church while practicing these forms of 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 sexuality that are totally against what the Bible says. A Bible marriage is considered between a man and a woman. 
Not a woman and a woman and a man and a man or a man and a goat or a woman and a donkey or whatever. It's between a man and a woman. And the Bible makes it very clear. And that's the way it is. And as far as people that are in these gay things, well, kudos to them. But you know what? They're not, they'll never have the same status or rights, even though this law has passed. So they can celebrate their parades and do their little marches and YouTube can do their gay love thing and have all this stuff going on. But it's not going to be accepted in God's God. It doesn't matter how far you want to show your sexual deviancy. God is not going to accept it. And the church as a whole as most is not either. Now, you want to repent from your sin, then God will accept it and the church will accept you. Most churches do not accept homosexuality or gay behavior. You know, there's, there's women that are doing this stuff even in the Church of Christ. I know a few people that I know for sure on Facebook that are gay, that are on my Facebook wall. I have talked to them. Ehel has probably talked to them too some. And, of course, she don't talk to me now, but they were on there. But there's another girl that's on there that's gay, and she has a gay lover, girlfriend. And she's on there. And she goes to the Church of Christ. And what I'm saying is, the Bible teaches that a man and woman are only supposed to be together. A man and woman is only supposed to have a relationship together. A man and woman can only produce children. You can't do that with two women. You can't do that with a duck and a donkey. You can't do that with two men. And you can't do that with a woman and a horse. Or you can't do that with a woman and a cow. It doesn't work. It has to be a man or a woman. So, you know, you might get together and do the heterosexual thing so you get to your gay, homo, bestiality behavior. But God is going to punish you and throw you in hell. There will be no gay people in heaven unless they're the ones that have repented and changed their ways. Because God does not accept your bestiality or gay fornicating behavior. And no other church, most churches do not either. And I don't accept it. However, I will treat you as a person because I've worked with gays in a number of places and I do some computer work with people. But if you ask me how I feel, I'll tell you what I've told you on YouTube today, how I feel, because I base it on the Word of God. It's not my opinion. It's what the Bible says about it. And that's no opinion. That's coming from God. And that's what we need to follow. Not come up with our own indoctrinated thoughts and theories and that's what's going to bring this country to hell. No, we need to stand up and follow the Word of God. And that's what we need to follow. And not say that gay is the new normal. Or, you know, and it's not the normal. There's nothing normal about it. There's nothing acceptable about it. There's nothing to celebrate and have praise about it. It's sinful. It's blasphemous. And it's wrong. And it should not be going on. And that's what we need to wake up. And I could say this about a lot of other things that are going on in the church that shouldn't be going on. That shouldn't be tolerated. That still goes on. So I'm here to tell you. You know, it makes me mad when I see that. The government says it's unconstitutional for, for gays to get together. But then they go ahead and try to give them the same law. To give them the same benefits. And the same ever status like a heterosexual couple. When they are not by definition in, in that same status at all. Because it's not recognizable by the constitution or the laws of this land which are trying to change, and they've been trying to do it for several years now. And one day it probably will change, but it still won't be accepted in the eyes of God Almighty. And that's the thing you're not going to pass with God. You might be able to get away with it here with you, ah, but it's not going to work in the eyes of God. Because God will not accept you. He'll just throw you into hell, because that's where you're headed. You want to keep playing the game? You're going to find out. And you keep wearing those clothes and the speedos, and you keep doing all those things, and you keep, oh, okay, I'm jumping in your face when I walk by, and I rub a tug on the butt and kissing you, I kiss my girl woman and do the tongue and all that so I can try to push it on you because I want to flaunt my sexuality on you. Well, you know, it's not about that because it's just like you're saying, well, who cares about you, God, when I do that? Because that's what I'm doing when I act that way, when I shouldn't be acting that way. Because it's not acceptable. And God does not accept retrobated people. God has a place for you. And that is hell. It will not be heaven. Unless you do stop and repent. And you convert back to being heterosexual. Like you're supposed to be. 
I'm sorry this is a little offensive, but it really makes me irate as a preacher to see all this blasphemy going on in our nation when our nation was supposed to is supposed to be a godly one. And that's the way it started, and it's not that way now. And it just makes me so mad as a preacher to see this going on. I'm sorry I had to be like this today. Lord, please help us as a nation. Help these people realize what they're doing so they can reverse this. I feel like I got mad in the right way. And I felt like what I said was right, even though it will offend a lot of people. But I'm not doing it for their offense. I'm doing it for your offense. Because your offense is what matters. It's not my opinion. It's your word that makes it law, which supersedes this law of this land. Because your law is higher than all laws in the world. Because your law is the your law is final, according to the Bible. And Lord, please keep me safe and keep my family safe. And please keep please help more people rise to preach on and teach on these things that are so blasphemous and wrong. They're going rampant in this time that we live in, Lord. You're coming back soon. I know it because the Bible talks about it at the end of time. This is what will happen, Lord. Please help us. Please keep us preachers really strong and help us to be teaching in boldness and truth behind the pulpit in a church, in a house of where we're doing our services and in this building where we are. Lord, help us, Lord. Jesus, in your precious name, I pray. Amen. This is my blog for today. I'm sorry, but this is not the right way to go, people. I'll see you later.